Greetings, everybody. Chaplain Bob Walker here, Light of the World Ministries, John 8, 12. Jesus said, I am the light of the world. He that followeth me shall, be, shall not walk in darkness, but shall have the light of life. Uh, this is going to be, I think, part six, the end of Armies of the Lord. Turn your King James Bible to Mark chapter 5. And please understand something. King James Bible in the United States has no copyright. Anyone can print the King James Bible. Being it is over 400 years old, copyright, it's expired. Now, if you're in the UK, uh, the crown holds the copyright, I guess forever. But uh, all the modern Bibles have copyrights and changes. So you don't make the connection between words. So, all right, let's uh, take a look at Mark chapter 5. And they, Jesus and the apostles, and they came over to the other side of the sea into the country of the Gadarenes, and when he, Jesus, was come out of the ship, immediately there met him out of the tombs a man with an unclean spirit. He's possessed with a devil or a demon, whatever you want to call it. Verse 3, who had his dwelling among the tombs and no man could bind him, no, not with chains, because that he had often he had been often bound with fetters and chains, and the chains had been plucked asunder by him, and the fetters broken in pieces, neither could any man tame him. So, what are these chains made of? I mean, at least iron. This guy's breaking chains. So, these evidently, these beings are giving him supernatural power. Now, what are these unclean spirits? The early church fathers, so-called, believed that they were the disembodied spirits of the giants who died during the flood and, you know, at other times, and that they were seeking to possess a body, and those that aren't indwelt by the Holy Spirit could possibly be possessed of one of these things. Uh, does the Bible prove that? No. That's why I'm saying this is what the early believers in the church, uh, what they thought was the logical explanation of these things. And curing possession was one of the most common things that Jesus did. So, because that he had been often bound with fetters and chains, and the chains had been plucked asunder by him, and the fetters broken in pieces, neither could any man tame him. Here it is, they're trying to round up this wild man, and he's just breaking chains, so... So, yeah, verse 5. And always, night and day, he was in the mountains and in the tombs, crying and cutting himself with stones. Cutting himself. You ever seen people who like to cut themselves so that the blood goes? When Elijah was confronting the prophets of Baal, they cut themselves so that the blood gushed. So, evidently, the devil's kids like blood. Verse 6. But when he saw Jesus afar off, he ran and worshipped him, and cried with a loud voice and said, What have I to do with thee, Jesus, thou Son of the Most High God? I adjure thee by God that thou torment me not. Hmm. See, even they know that they're going to end up in hell. But 
they know it's not quite their time yet. So, verse 8. For he said unto them, unto him, Come out of the man, thou unclean spirit. And he asked him, What is thy name? So Jesus is saying, What is your name? And he answered, saying, My name is Legion, for we are many. In Roman times, a Roman legion was between 4,000 and 5,000 soldiers. So, My name is Legion, for we are many. So, what is thy name? My name is Legion, for we are many. And he besought him, the devils besought Jesus, that he would not send them away out of the country. Now there was nigh unto the mountains a great herd of swine feeding. And all the devils, plural, besought him, saying, Send us into the swine that we may enter into them. Isn't that interesting? You ever wonder why the Lord in the book of Leviticus said, don't eat pork? I wonder if this has something to do with it. I don't know. I mean, I'm not saying it's the primary reason, but it might have something to do with it. I don't know. But, uh, yeah. So I wonder how many animals are possessed of devils you know dogs that attack children makes you wonder you know i don't know I, i'm not saying it's true i'm just throwing throwing it out there so send us into the swine that we may enter into them and forthwith jesus gave them leave and the unclean spirits went out and entered into the swine and the herd ran violently down a steep place into the sea they were about 2,000 and were choked in the sea. Wow. Even pigs don't want to be possessed of devils. You know, when you see people doing supernatural strength things like karate experts breaking multiple boards and things like that, you know, it makes you wonder, are they possessed of a devil that gives them this supernatural strength? I don't know. Uh, it's something to consider. 14. And they that fed the swine fled and told it in the city, in the, in the country, and they went out to see what it was that was done. And they came to Jesus and see, and see him that was possessed with the devil and had the legion sitting and clothed and in his right mind, and they were afraid. Wow. Jesus casts out a bunch of devils and they're afraid. I think I'd be more afraid of the devils than Jesus. And they that saw it told them how it befell to him that was possessed with the devil and also concerning the swine. And they began to pray him to depart out of their coast. Uh, hey, Jesus, uh, can, you got, can you please leave us alone? We want you to leave. I mean, really? Wow. And when he was come into the ship, he that had been possessed with the devil prayed him that he might be with him. Howbeit Jesus suffered him not, didn't allow him, but saith unto him, Go home to thy friends and tell them how great things the Lord, the Lord hath done for thee and hath had compassion on thee. And he, the man, departed and began to publish in Decapolis how great things Jesus had done for him, and all men did marvel. So Jesus says, go tell them how great things the Lord's done. And this guy's telling them how great things Jesus done. Which tells you that Jesus is Lord. So, I could show you a bunch of other times that people that had spirits were... Problemized, I guess you could say. Well, there's one more. Let's take a look. Here's a good one. Matthew 17, chapter 17, uh, verse 14. And when they, Jesus and 
uh, the disciples. And when they were come to the multitude, there came to him a certain man kneeling down to him and saying, Lord. So here it is. This man is acknowledging Jesus as Lord. Lord, have mercy on my son. For he is lunatic and sore vexed. For oft times he falleth into the fire and oft into the water. Sounds like demonic possession to me. 16. And I brought him to thy disciples, and they could not cure him. Now remember, the disciples had given, been given power to cast out devils and to cure diseases. But here it is, they couldn't do it. Verse 17. Then Jesus answered and said, O faithless and perverse generation, how long shall I be with you? How long shall I suffer you? Bring him hither to me. So Jesus saying, Oh, bring the kid over here. 18. And Jesus rebuked the devil, and he departed out of him. And the child was cured from that very hour. Then came the disciples to Jesus apart and said, Why could we not cast him out? Listen carefully. 20. And Jesus said unto them, Because of your unbelief, for verily I say unto you, If ye have faith as a grain of mustard seed, ye shall say unto this mountain, Remove hence to yonder place, and it shall remove and nothing shall be impossible unto you. Verse 21, Jesus tells you how to get rid of this devil. Howbeit this kind goeth not out, but by prayer and fasting. Afflicting your soul, prayer and fasting. Do you know the NIV deletes this verse? Yeah, I, I believe it's the NIV. I'd have to look it up. But one of the new modern Bibles, I think it's the NIV, deletes this verse. Maybe they don't want you to know that to sometimes some devils were very stubborn and you had to pray and fast to get them to leave. Evidently, this was a, perhaps this was a very high-ranking, powerful devil and requires extra special measures. So, and then people will say, oh, well, the King James Bible, it adds scriptures that aren't in the original manuscripts. Personally, I think if you couldn't cast out a devil, you should try prayer and fasting. But Hey, that's just me. So, I hope you enjoyed this Bible study. This is the end of the series, unless, of course, I come up with something else pops into my mind. And uh, that's how it be. So, all blessings, praise, glory, and honor. In Jesus' precious name, amen.